Welcome to Minity Maths. This video introduces scatter graphs, correlation, and the line of best fit. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for weekly videos. A scatter graph or scatter plot can show you the relationship between two sets of data. For example, it can show you if there is a relationship between the amount of catnip a cat eats and the length of its whiskers. So how do you plot a scatter graph? Have a look at this set of data. We are given values for the size of each dog in centimeters and the loudness of its bark in decibels. Let's first plot the values for the dog named Fluffy. Find 65 centimeters on the x-axis labeled length of dog and draw a line extending from this point. Then find 85 on the y-axis labeled loudness of bark and draw a line extending from this. The point where the two lines cross is where we will draw the scatter plot. Now do the same for the other dogs. The scatter graph is now complete. Although this doesn't tell us much, as we would need data from more than four dogs to determine how the length of the dog correlates to the loudness of its bark. Now have a go at this practice question, using the data provided and some graph paper, plot the points on a scatter graph. Pause the video while you do this. Next, we are going to look at the different types of correlation we can determine from scatter graphs. What is correlation? Correlation means how closely two sets of data are related. For example, cola sales increasing as the temperature increases. This information can be visually represented on a scatter graph. If we can draw a line of best fit, then we can say that cola sales and temperature are correlated. However, it's important to remember that just because two things are correlated, doesn't always mean that an increase or decrease in one thing, has caused the increase or decrease in the other. In this example, we can't be certain that the increase in temperature has caused the increase in cola sales, even though it may seem likely. There could have been a discount or offer on the price of the cola on the day the data was collected, which could have been the cause for the increase in sales. Therefore, correlation does not always indicate causation, so it's important to consider other factors. There are different types of correlation. Positive or negative. And strong or weak. Let's have a look at positive correlations. Here is the same cola sales example. This scatter graph shows that there is a positive correlation, because cola sales increase as the temperature increases. Both variables increase. We can also say that this is a strong correlation as the plots closely follow the line of best fit. If the plots looked like this, we would say there is a weak correlation. Now let's have a look at another example. This scatter graph shows that as the number of cats living at an allotment site increase, the number of mice decrease. This shows a negative correlation. In particular, a strong, negative, correlation. As one variable increases, the other decreases. What if the scatter graph looked like this? 
we can see that the sales of sofas has no obvious relationship to the temperature. We would say there is no correlation. Have a go at this practice question and pause the video while you work it out. Finally, we are going to look at how we can draw a line of best fit on a scatter graph. A line of best fit is a straight line which extends approximately through the middle of the scatter plots. Let's have a look at this scatter graph and draw a line of best fit. There are a few things to note when drawing a line of best fit. Firstly, it doesn't have to go through the origin. It should follow the steepness of the plots. And there should be roughly the same number of plots above the line, as there are below. Let's have a look at another scatter diagram and draw a line of best fit. We can now use the line of best fit to estimate values based on the data. But what if our scatter plot looks like this one? As there is no correlation, we are unable to draw a line of best fit. Have a go at this practice question by drawing the scatter graph out on paper. Pause the video while you work on it. Thanks for watching Minity Maths. Check out the channel for more videos.